Are you tired of watching your hard-earned money flow away with expensive irrigation systems? Picture this. Lush, thriving crops without draining your bank account. Seems impossible, right? Well, not anymore. Today, I'm going to show you three game-changing approaches to irrigation that work even on the tightest budget. These methods have helped countless small farmers and gardeners save thousands while actually improving their yields. We've split this guide into four main parts to make it easy for you. In the first part, we discuss the first way that you can do irrigation smartly by choosing the right land with abundant groundwater. In the second part, we explore water-saving crops that help you maximize efficiency. In the third part, we dive into affordable automation and natural irrigation systems that save resources and effort. And in the last part, we give you a simple step-by-step -step plan you can follow to choose the right irrigation approach for your specific situation. Part 1. Choose land with abundant groundwater. Let's start with one of the most overlooked aspects of affordable irrigation the land itself. The truth is, not all parcels are created equal when it comes to water accessibility. If you're in the position to select your farming location, this can be your biggest cost-saving advantage. When evaluating land, look for natural indicators of high water tables, areas with natural springs, healthy native vegetation even during dry seasons, or land in valley bottoms often have abundant groundwater. You can also check with local authorities or agricultural extension offices for groundwater maps of your region. These resources are typically free and can save you thousands in irrigation costs down the line. One simple test you can perform yourself is digging a small test pit during the driest season. If you hit moisture within 10 to 15 feet, that's a promising sign. Another approach is to observe neighboring lands. Are there established wells nearby? Do neighbors struggle with irrigation? Local knowledge is invaluable. Once you've found land with good groundwater access, consider installing a shallow well. A hand-dug well can cost as little as $100 to $500 if you do the labor yourself, compared to thousands for mechanical drilling. Many regions offer incentives or cost-sharing programs for sustainable water management. Check with your local agricultural extension office. Remember that groundwater isn't an unlimited resource. Monitoring your water table throughout the seasons will help you understand patterns and prevent overuse. Simple measurement tools like a weighted string can help you track water levels regularly. This knowledge prevents expensive surprises and helps you plan your planting schedule around natural water availability. For areas with seasonal rains, Consider simple rainwater harvesting systems, using plastic sheeting to direct water into storage areas or directly to your fields. These systems can be assembled for under $50 and dramatically reduce your reliance on other water sources during dry periods. Part 2. Select water-saving crops. The second pillar of budget-friendly irrigation is choosing the right crops. Not all plants are equal when it comes to water consumption and this choice alone can cut your irrigation needs by 50% or more without sacrificing yield or profit. Drought-resistant varieties have evolved over centuries to thrive with minimal water. Crops like sorghum, millet, amaranth, and specific varieties of beans require significantly less water than conventional options. For example, pearl millet needs about 30% less water than corn, while still providing valuable grain for consumption or sale. Many indigenous crop varieties are naturally adapted to local water conditions. Talk to established farmers in your area or check with seed preservation organizations that specialize in heirloom varieties adapted to your specific climate. These seeds might cost slightly more upfront but will save you much more in irrigation costs. Consider the concept of water use efficiency, the amount of marketable crop produced per unit of water used. Certain high-value herbs and spices like rosemary, thyme, and sage are not only drought-resistant, but also fetch premium prices, giving you more income per drop of water. Timing your planting to align with natural rainfall patterns also dramatically reduces irrigation needs. Many regions have reliable seasonal rains that can support certain crops with little to no supplemental irrigation if planted at the right time. 
creating a year-round planting calendar based on local precipitation patterns costs nothing but can save you thousands in irrigation expenses. Implementing companion planting strategies can further optimize water use. Tall plants can shade moisture-loving crops, reducing evaporation. Deep-rooted plants can help break up soil for better water penetration, benefiting shallow-rooted neighbors. This natural symbiosis costs nothing to implement but improves your overall water efficiency. For commercial farming, consider researching market opportunities for drought-resistant crops in your area. Many consumers are increasingly interested in sustainable water-wise agriculture and some specialty markets will pay premium prices for crops grown with minimal environmental impact. Part 3. Install solar pumps or natural water systems. Now let's talk about moving and distributing water efficiently without breaking the bank. Traditional irrigation systems often come with high equipment and energy costs, but affordable alternatives are readily available. Gravity-fed irrigation systems are among the most cost-effective options available. If your land has any elevation differences, you can harness this natural force to distribute water. A simple setup using plastic pipes to channel water from an elevated source to your fields can cost under $200 for a small farm and requires zero energy input. The key is careful planning of pipe routes to maximize natural pressure. For situations where pumping is necessary, Small solar-powered systems have become remarkably affordable. A basic solar pump setup capable of irrigating one to two acres can now be purchased for $300 to $600 with zero ongoing energy costs. Many agricultural programs offer subsidies specifically for renewable energy irrigation, sometimes covering up to 50% of equipment costs. The efficiency of your distribution system makes a massive difference in water usage. Drip irrigation delivers water directly to plant roots, reducing evaporation and runoff. While commercial systems can be expensive, DIY options using recycled materials can be assembled for a fraction of the cost. Simple systems using recycled plastic bottles and tubing can be built for as little as $20 per 100 feet of irrigation line. Natural water retention techniques like swales, berms, and contour planting work with the landscape to capture and hold rainwater where it falls. These earthworks can be created with basic hand tools and some physical labor, often for less than $100 in materials. The return on this investment is substantial. Properly designed swales can reduce irrigation needs by up to 70% by maximizing natural rainfall utilization. For smaller gardens, olas, unglazed clay pots buried in the soil, provide an ancient but effective irrigation method. Water seeps slowly through the clay, delivering moisture directly to plant roots with minimal evaporation. A set of homemade or locally crafted olas costs $30 to $80, but can reduce water usage by up to 70% compared to surface irrigation. Mulching is another simple technique that dramatically improves water efficiency. Organic materials like straw, leaves, or even cardboard can reduce evaporation by up to 80%. This protection means less frequent irrigation and significant water savings. Many farmers can access these materials for free from local sources. Recycled gray water systems can provide a free irrigation source for certain crops. Simple systems diverting water from household uses like laundry or showers can be set up for under $100 and provide hundreds of gallons of irrigation water weekly that would otherwise go to waste. Part 4. Your Simple Action Plan for Budget-Friendly Irrigation Now that we've explored the three main approaches, let's put it all together into a practical action plan you can start implementing today. Step 1. Assess your current water resources. Before making any changes, understand what you're working with. Map existing water sources on your property. Measure your current water usage and identify the most water-intensive areas of your operation. This baseline information costs nothing to gather but is essential for smart decision-making. Step 2. Start small and expand gradually. Don't feel pressured to transform your entire operation at once. Begin with a test plot using water-saving techniques, perhaps just 10% of your growing area. 
This approach minimizes risk while allowing you to learn what works best in your specific conditions. Step 3. Combine multiple approaches for maximum savings. The real magic happens when you integrate all three pillars we've discussed. A small plot of drought-resistant crops on land with good groundwater access using simple gravity-fed drip irrigation can reduce water costs by up to 90% compared to conventional methods. Step 4. Monitor results carefully and adjust as needed. Keep simple records of water usage, crop yields, and labor requirements. This data will quickly show you which approaches deliver the best return on investment for your specific situation. Step 5. Connect with other budget-conscious farmers. Many agricultural extension offices or farming associations host workshops or field days focused on sustainable, low-cost farming practices. These events are often free or very affordable and provide valuable hands-on learning opportunities. Step 6. Take advantage of available programs and subsidies. Many regions offer financial assistance for implementing water-conserving irrigation practices. A few hours of research could connect you with grants, low-interest loans, or equipment subsidies specifically designed for small budget operations. Remember, successful low-budget irrigation isn't about cutting corners. It's about working smarter with the resources you have. By combining strategic land selection, appropriate crop choices, and simple but effective distribution systems, you can create an irrigation approach that's not only affordable, but actually more resilient and sustainable than expensive conventional systems. I hope these practical, budget-friendly irrigation approaches help you grow more while spending less. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more sustainable farming tips. Until next time, happy growing up with smart farming inside.